G'day guys, today I'm walking the banks of the Campaspe River, hoping for a Murray Cod or a Yellowbelly. I'm starting off with a Tubby Native Minnow by Bassman. It's a smaller lure, but I figure I've got a higher chance of getting a fish. Once I've got a fish on the board, I'll switch to a bigger lure and go for a bigger cod. But let's get the confidence up first. Right, oh, game on. Terrible first cast. <laughs> That's better. Felt the weight. That was a good fish. Bugger. I don't think he's going to come back. That got my heart racing. <laughs> Something smashed it just out here. He might come back, but I very much doubt it. There was a good two shakes of the head there. He felt the pointy end. Oh, damn. That's a little bit precarious, Ugh, but I want to get a cast down along that undercut bank. Uh, that's way off. Beautiful. It's got to be a fish sitting there. Oof. All right, let's find a fish. Beautiful cast, Rowan. Just keeping the rod tip down because this lure doesn't dive overly deep so I'm hoping I'll get it an extra foot or two deeper by keeping my rod tip down like that. Uh oh, I think I'm about to lose my tubby native minnow. I've got a couple other ones but I want this one. This is the one that's had a hit. Oh, got it. Oh, while well, I'm here. The two carp there, right next to the log. I don't know if they're coming out on video. Sitting right at the top of the water. I doubt there's a big cod down there. <laughs> Ooh, I think I saw a fish following that then. He came out of the shade, so I didn't get a good look. In the sun I would have seen him fully, but I reckon he came out from about there. Hmm. Yes, got him. Oh, decent fish. Very nice. He took it and then just tanked. He didn't uh, fight. He just, it just felt really heavy. <laughs> All right, I'll leave him there in the edge of the water. Hopefully he doesn't get away. I'll get out my lip grips and that. Oh, probably just my pliers. I don't think I'll need the lip grips for this one. Although, seeing what happened to Robbie Alexander, maybe I will use lip grips. <laughs> he, if you don't know, he got a massive treble hook stuck in his finger. Alright buddy, whoa! <laughs> Alright. One of the trebles is already out. I don't want to get him up on the sand. All right, I'll come down the water. I've got my gum boots on. What am I worried about? 
All right, let's get the lip grips in and I'll get him unhooked. Have a look and let him go. What a thumping yellow belly. He'd be about 40, 43 to 45 centimeters at a guess. Lovely colors as usual out of the Compaspi. Caught on, hold still, caught on the tubby native minnow there. He is nice and fat too. No doubt been gorging on all the baby carp in the system. All right, let's get him unhooked and swimming. There you go, you can breathe. Where did I put my pliers? I'll use them so I don't do a robbie. Okay, unhooked. One Compaspi River yellow belly. Actually, I'm going to check I'm recording first. <laughs> One sec, mate, just chill. You can breathe. All right, I was recording. What a bonus. Lovely yellow belly. I'd say about 43, 44 centimeters at a guess. See ya, buddy. Oh. There he goes that way. <laughs> I copped a bath. Look at the mud come up there where he went under the log. <laughs> I copped a bath from that one. The camera, pro the camera probably got a splash as well. <laughs> but I'm on the board. <sighs> I'm just putting another few casts in where I pulled that yellow from. They often hang out in pairs. And when I was fishing this stretch of river a week ago with Damo and Zach, Damo had a massive buff just out there. So I think a big cod lives here too. Oh, that felt like a hit. Felt like a very little hit. I felt a few taps coming in then, I'm not sure. I cast in literally the exact same spot, so if I don't feel the same things coming in, then I'm fairly sure there was a fish tapping that it was what's coming in. No. Okay, I'm bumping logs. <laughs> they must be just the exact right angle to pull on the rod the right way. Yes! Got him! Oh! Oh no, he's tanked me! He's bricked me! No, that was a cod! Oh, you mongrel, he has absolutely bricked me! Is he still on there? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wade out. I don't know how deep it is. Bag. If we can just stay up the f***ing hill! Well, the water's nice and cool anyway. <laughs> I doubt this fish is still going to be on there, but I'm going to try and get my lure back because the fish want it. It's not even that deep here. I'm standing up. Yeah, I can see my lure. Ah, oh, bugger. Oh, that was a good fish too. <laughs> oh, well. Whoa! Nearly fallen in the river. <laughs> well, while I'm out here, let's get some casts over there. I am very much looking forward to reviewing the footage on that cod that I just dropped. He looked pretty big. He looked legal. I would have released him anyway. It's a nice fish though. There's a big bow wave. Look at that thing. Oh, there's a little fish there. Is it a carp? I think it's a carp. Yeah, it ignored my lure. <laughs> Just a few carp swimming through all at once. <laughs> you know, as I'm walking further downstream, it occurs to me that the cod I dropped on the log back there could be the same big cod that gave Damo a buff a week ago. He's still there, Damo, if you want to go and have another crack. <laughs> Damn it. 
always the way. <laughs> you get your cast in the perfect spot and it's tangled. Oh, two in a row. That's all right. Well, unfortunately, I've run out of time for today's session. One yellow landed, two fish dropped. One of them was a nice cod. <laughs> Good session, if you ask me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.